Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2017, and today we're at the Asetech booth with Steve Branton once again. Steve, let's start at the beginning. Who is Asetech and who do you help? So, Asetech is a liquid cooling company. We do data center and enthusiast liquid cooling. Data center business is, of course, what we're here to talk about today. And what we do for our customers really provide three levels of advantage. First, and we kind of got in this business around reducing OPEX, saving energy, making data centers more efficient. In, in conjunction with that, because we're able to use free cooling, the actual devices that are used to get the heat out of the data center into the air are less expensive than in a traditional air-conditioned data center. And then finally, what's happening in the marketplace is that we're seeing more and more um, high-powered processors coming from NVIDIA, from Intel, uh, and others, and those are making it very difficult to actually cool servers with a traditional air-cooled environment. Yeah, yeah. So we're using liquids to actually get the performance promise of yeah. those higher power processors into the data center. Yeah, and some of these are well over 200 watts, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. we're okay. 300 and above. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so, so what are you showcasing this week at ISC? So, a few things. This is um, a selection of servers that we have in the marketplace today. Um, this node here is from a Fujitsu system, actually the one that's uh, at Oak Forest PAX, which is number six on the top 500 and green 500. Um, this is our most powerful node here today. This is a 1.2 kilowatt in half of a 1U server. So, as you can see, we're, we're getting to densities far and above what we'd seen when we first started talking. Yep. And um, this is what makes liquid cooling so compelling today, and why you've seen it probably in several of the other booths you've been in throughout the show. This is uh, NVIDIA SXM2 and NVIDIA PCIe with the, all both P100 model systems. Um, we have the coming Skylakes ready to go. So, um, we really have a, a broad range of coverage for the kinds of solutions we can deploy into a data center. And that's, again, resulted in a broad array of high-performance computers using Asetech liquid cooling. So this is all at the node level. How do you take that heat away from the rack? Okay, well, first, one of the things that's happening as a result of these high-power systems is we've got people that aren't quite ready to make the leap into having a liquid cooled data center, but they still want to use these high power processors. Ah. So now we come back to actually Asetex Roots, which is uh, cooling in desktop machines, which is just cold plate on top of the processor and a radiator inside the machine. So this is that technology sized for a 1U half-wit server. Mm -hmm. And what this does is allow more wattage in the processor to be disposed of with the regular air than is okay. possible with a traditional air-cooled heat sink that sits okay. on the processor. Okay. So we see that as becoming a significant part of our business over the next year, year and a half, as these high-power processors go into data centers where they're not yet prepared to use liquid cooling. And then, for those that are, the, which is where we've been deployed so far, we actually have two ways to get that out. These systems connect, let's see, um, via quick connectors to um, some tubes and then over to a device like this um, where we have liquid to liquid heat exchangers inside this wall, um, a series of manifolds that connect to all the various nodes, and then either connections to facilities liquid at the top or at the bottom of the rack to take that heat all the way out of the data center in an all-liquid path. This one's great if you, if you want to make sure you maximize the use space in your uh, rack. So for data centers that are constrained in use space, we have our in-rack CDU. This, we have a similar distribution manifolds running inside the rack and a liquid-to-liquid -liquid heat exchanger at the top of the rack. So. Here, we don't take any additional floor space. Um, and again, that gives us, gives us a flexibility to do different kinds of deployments. 
Okay, Steve, what are we looking at here? This looks like a very large scale system. Yes, this is actually the build of our largest system to date, 8,200 Knights Landing nodes at, in Japan. It's called the Oaks Force Pack System. And it's a pretty cool time lapse video of, of them actually doing the installation. So, Steve, this is HPC World here, right? So, uh, you know, every dollar you spend on infrastructure means a dollar you're not spending on compute. So, uh, how does Asatec help with the cost of this liquid cooling? Excellent question. One of the things that we've prided ourselves in is maintaining a cost advantage. And we've done that in several ways. First, we're able to use our distributed pumping model means that the same pump that we use in our desktop business is used in our direct-to-chip liquid cooling business and in our uh, sealed loop business. So we're able to leverage all that volume to bring down costs. But we've gone further than that. We've also invested in our own quick connectors. There are some fine examples of quick connectors on the show, very high quality, can deliver a whole bunch of different kinds of fluids and at very high pressures and so forth. But we know exactly what our fluid is. We're a low pressure system, so we know what our pressure is. And as a result of that, we were able to purpose build a connector that does exactly what we need to do at the lowest possible cost. And those kinds of things are the reason that we're seeing the adoption of the Asiatech liquid cooling system across all of these data centers.